Hmm. Hmm. Mikey, what happened to you? You look like a shark. Those teeth are huge. Oh. JJ, I don't know what's happening. I suddenly feel super hungry. And your legs look tasty. Just a little nibble. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey! All right, Mikey, you did it. You actually ate my legs. Now I'm stuck here without feet. What am I supposed to do now? But I'm not giving up. I'll find a way to walk again. This tree looks sturdy enough. I can make some leg replacements. Hmm. Let's see, I'll need a sharp ax. Good thing I kept one nearby. Time to chop this tree down. These logs will do the trick. Okay, got the wood I need. Now to shape them into legs. This is going to look weird, isn't it? Wooden legs, like a pirate. All right, almost done carving these logs. Just need to make them sturdy. Can't have them breaking on my first step. Mikey won't believe his eyes. Hey! <laughs> these look rough, but they'll work. Time to attach them and stand. Here goes nothing. If I fall, it's back to the drawing board. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm actually standing. These wooden legs are holding up. I might be slower, but it's better than nothing. Mikey's in for a surprise. One step, two steps, steady now. This isn't so bad at all. I'm practically a walking tree. Mikey's going to laugh his fins off. Greetings, a stranger. You look lost in our land. Are you here by accident? Or did the spirits guide you? Whoa, who are you? I wasn't expecting anyone here. I guess you could say I'm lost. Can you help me find my way? We live simply, close to nature. Our people believe in harmony. We protect the land and each other. Soon you'll see our village. It sounds peaceful here. Not like my home at all. I feel safe with you already. Lead the way, my friend. We are almost there, stranger. Our people will be curious about you. Not many outsiders visit us but we'll treat you like family. I really appreciate it. Your kindness means a lot. I can't wait to meet everyone. I'll try to be respectful. Here we are. This is our home. My tribe is waiting for us. They'll offer you food and shelter. Just remember to follow our customs. Thank you. I'll do my best. I want to learn your ways. Your respect is all we ask. Welcome to our family, stranger. May the spirits protect you here and may you find peace among us. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, it's dark in here. I didn't expect the cave to be this deep. I hope I find something useful. Better keep my eyes open. What's that sparkle up ahead? Looks like boxes. I'll get closer to check it out. Maybe it's treasure. Now to get out of here. Don't want to be stuck if it goes off. This place feels like a ticking bomb. Time to swim back. Wait, this isn't treasure. It's dynamite? Who would leave this here? This could be dangerous. Hmm, maybe I can use it. It's a lot of dynamite, though. I wonder if it still works. I'll just grab a few sticks. All right, carefully does it. I don't want this thing blowing up. Gotta handle it with care. One wrong move, and boom. I've got a handful of dynamite. This will come in handy for sure. Imagine the things I can blow up, but I'll use it wisely. Probably. I wonder what Mikey will think. He won't believe I found this. Maybe I'll surprise him with it. I just have to keep it dry. Almost to the exit now. Just a little bit further. No sudden moves, JJ. Stay calm and no explosions. Whoa! <laughs> Finally, I can see the light. The exit's just up ahead. I'll be out in no time. This was quite an adventure. All right, back on land. Now to stash this safely. Mikey's going to flip out. Hope he doesn't get any wild ideas. All right, fishing time. I haven't done this in ages. Thanks for bringing me here. I could really use a break. Fishing is a peaceful activity, JJ. We connect with nature this way. Just watch the water closely. Fish will come when you're calm. Got it, I'll stay calm, but it's hard not to be excited. Look at all those ripples. Patience is key, my friend. The fish sense your energy. Stay still and breathe slowly. They'll come when the time is right. All right, I'll give it a try. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I feel like a real fisherman now. Maybe I'll catch the biggest one. But remember, it's not just size. 
Fishing is about the journey. Each catch has its own story. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, time for a little trick. I've got this bait with a surprise. Let's see if Shark Mikey falls for it. He won't know what hit him. JJ, what are you planning? That bait looks unusual. Is that TNT in there? You're trying to outsmart the shark? Exactly. Mikey the shark won't see it coming. Just wait until he takes a bite. This should give him a real shock. Look, he's getting closer. He's sniffing around the bait. Any second now, he'll take it. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that explosion? That definitely got his attention. Shark Mikey won't mess with us again. That was one powerful bite. That was a clever trick, JJ. You handled it well, my friend. The shark won't forget this day. You may have earned his respect. Huh. JJ, I see you need a tool. I have something that might help. It's an old fishing hook. We use it for climbing and catching. Wow, what's this? It looks like a hook, but different. You really think this will help me? I've never used anything like this before. It's called a grappling hook. You throw it and it catches on things. You can climb, pull, or swing with it. It's very useful for tough situations. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to raid this pirate ship. Those pirates think they can keep the gold. Well, I've got other plans. I'll take their treasure and make it mine. I can already see the ship in the distance. The sails are high, and it looks full of pirates. This is going to be tricky, but I'm ready for anything. I'll need to be quick and quiet. If I get caught, this mission is over. I'll sneak aboard, grab the gold, and leave. These pirates won't even know I was here. I'm getting closer now. The ship looks huge. I'll have to find a way up. Maybe I can climb up the ropes. Phew. I'm on the ship. Now to find that gold. There's got to be a chest somewhere. I just need to avoid those pirates. There's the captain's cabin. It looks like the perfect place to hide treasure. I bet there's a huge pile of gold in there. I'll just sneak around and take it. I hear footsteps. The pirates are coming this way. I need to hide before they see me. Where can I go without being noticed? Oh, that was close. I barely escaped them, but I found the chest. It's full of gold, just as I thought. Now, I need to get back to the boat. But how do I get past those pirates? They're all over the deck. I'll have to wait for the right moment. Here's my chance. They're distracted by something on the other side. Time to slip past them and head for the rope. This gold will be mine. I'm almost there. Just a little more to go. I can't believe I'm actually getting away with this. Those pirates are going to be so mad. All right, I'm on my boat. I've got the gold and I'm heading back. Whoa! Look at this, my friend. I just returned from the pirate ship. I managed to grab all this gold. Can you believe it? JJ, this is unbelievable. That's a lot of treasure. How did you get past all the pirates? They must be furious right now. It wasn't easy. I'll tell you that. I had to sneak around and avoid them. But in the end, it was worth it. Just look at all this gold. You are braver than I thought, JJ. And a little crazy too. But this is truly impressive. What do you plan to do with it? I'm still deciding. Maybe I'll buy supplies or build something big. This gold could help me with anything I want. The possibilities are endless. Just remember, gold can bring trouble too. Others may try to take it from you. You'll have to protect it carefully. Are you ready for that responsibility? Whoa! <laughs> All right, I'm inside the shark. This place is huge and creepy. I can't believe I'm actually doing this, but I've got to find a way out. The walls are slimy and moving. It feels like everything's alive here. I need to be careful not to slip. One wrong step and I'm shark food. Where could the exit be? I didn't exactly plan for this. I'll just have to explore and hope. Maybe I'll find something that points the way. Look at these bones lying around. I guess I'm not the first visitor here. I'd better keep moving fast. I don't want to end up like them. I think I see a pathway ahead. It's dark, but it's my only option. I'll have to go deeper into this shark. This is getting intense. What's that noise? Sounds like the heartbeat of this beast. It's so loud in here. I need to stay calm and keep going. I, I'm feeling a breeze. That must mean there's an opening nearby. Could it be a way out? 
I'm so close, I can feel it. Wait, this looks like the stomach. It's full of all kinds of junk. I hope I don't get stuck in here. Let's see if I can climb over this mess. There's a light coming from up ahead. This could be my chance to escape. Just a few more steps and I'm free. Come on, JJ, you can do this. All right, I've reached the opening, but it's surrounded by sharp teeth. One wrong move and I'm done for. I'll have to time this perfectly. All right, time to craft something cool. I've got sand, gunpowder, and wood. Let's see if I can make some TNT. This should be fun. First, I'll start with the sand. It's gotta be the base for the TNT. I just need to get the proportions right. A little bit of sand goes a long way. Next, I'll add the gunpowder. This stuff is dangerous, but it's perfect for TNT. I've gotta be careful not to spill any. If I mess this up, things could get explosive. Hmm, hmm. Now for the wood. I need just a little bit for the casing. It'll help hold everything together. Just a few pieces will do the trick. Okay, I think it's time to combine everything. I'll mix the sand, gunpowder, and wood together. This is it, the moment of truth. Let's see if I can craft some TNT. Yes, it worked, I've got TNT. Now the fun part is just beginning. What should I blow up first? This stuff is powerful. I need to be careful where I use it. One wrong move and boom, I can't wait to test it out. I'm thinking of setting it up near the cave. It'll be perfect to clear a path, but I need to make sure I'm far enough away. Don't want to be caught in the blast. All right, I've set the TNT in place. Now I'll light the fuse. This is going to be epic. Let's see what happens next. Here it goes, the fuse is burning down. I can feel the excitement building. This is going to be huge. <laughs> All right, this is it. I've crafted the TNT perfectly. Now, I just need to set it up. This explosion is going to be my way out. I'll place the TNT right here. It's close enough to break through. Just gotta be quick with the fuse. I don't wanna be stuck in here. Here goes nothing, lighting the fuse. Now, time to run for cover. This is going to be huge. I can hear the fuse sizzling. The explosion's going to go off any second. I need to brace myself. Boom, that was massive. The walls are shaking everywhere. Did it work? Let's see if there's a way out. Yes, it made an opening. The blast actually worked. I can see the light ahead. Time to escape this shark. Finally, I can breathe freely again. That was the craziest escape ever. I'll never forget being stuck in there. Time to swim to safety. Uh, I've gotta get far from here. Don't want the shark coming after me again. That TNT really saved my life. I couldn't have done it without it. <laughs> All right, time to cook up these leftovers. Into the cauldron you go, shark bits. This is going to be quite a stew. I wonder how it's going to turn out. Hey, JJ, are you really cooking that stuff? It smells kind of fishy. Are you sure it's safe to eat? Oh, don't worry, Mikey. I've got a recipe in mind. Just gotta let it boil a bit. This shark stew might be amazing. I don't know, JJ. I'm not so sure about shark stew. I've never seen anyone eat that before. Are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me, Mikey. With the right spices, anything's tasty. I'll just add a bit of salt. You'll love it once it's ready. All right, I'll trust you on this. But it still looks kind of weird. Those fins floating around? Hmm. Hmm. See? I told you. A little cooking magic does wonders. This stew will keep us going. Nothing like a hearty shark meal. All right, you win, JJ. This stew is way better than expected. Thanks, Mikey. Who knew shark could be so tasty? This stew will be legendary. Next time, maybe we'll try dragon soup. All right, I can't believe my luck. An old plane just sitting here. Looks like it needs some serious repairs, but I think I can get it flying again. First, let's check the engine. It's rusty, but not hopeless. A bit of oil should help. I just hope the fuel tank isn't empty. Looks like the propeller's busted too. I'll need to patch it up. Maybe I can find some spare parts around here. This plane will soar again in no time. Now let's get to the wings. They're torn up pretty badly. I'll need some strong fabric to fix this. A few patches and they'll be good as new. All right, time to fix the cockpit. The controls are all dusty and loose. I'll tighten up these bolts. 
Can't have anything falling apart mid-air. I found some old wires in here. They're a bit frayed, but still usable. I'll reconnect them carefully. This plane will be running smoothly soon. Now for the landing gear. It's bent, but I think I can fix it. A few hits with a hammer should do. Gotta make sure it's steady for takeoff. The seats look pretty rough too. I'll give them a quick cleanup. After all, I want a comfy ride. This is starting to feel like my plane. All right, almost done with the repairs. I just need to tighten a few more screws. It's looking better already. I can't wait to see if it flies. Let's check the fuel levels now. Looks like there's still some left. This could actually work. I might just be able to take off. Time to test the engine. I'll give it a try and hope for the best. Come on, old plane. Don't fail me now. Let's hear that engine roar. It started. The engine is running. This is incredible. It's actually working. I'm one step closer to flying. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, JJ, I'm just adding excitement. Don't worry. It's just a small plane. It'll make our adventure more thrilling. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Mikey, that's not what I meant by thrilling. The whole plane could go up in flames. Can you please put that fire out?